Track wrestling here at, in Deerfield Beach, Florida at the South Beach Duels with Minnesota coach Brandon Agum. The Gophers bounce back today with a pair of victories after dropping a couple yesterday. What, what did you like about the response you saw from your team today? Uh, I mean, the, the biggest thing is like the way we started the match. We had really good momentum. You got to give credit to our bottom uh, three weights. They started strong. Lee Zek, as always, and Mitchell and Tommy. They really got the ball rolling for us. Got a lot of pins and majors and so then it was just contagious kind of a snowball effect we've seen a you know the guys just had the momentum going the right direction and they finished all the way through and and so it was exciting to see that um you know it, it's easy to do sometimes and, and you know after you come back after a day like yesterday some guys um, wrestled better than uh, than others yesterday but today you know after a little uh, butt chewing you could see the guys are ready to go and ready to wrestle and it made a difference but the uh, important thing is can we continue to do those things we're getting into the big 10 season now and that's what we talked a lot about that type of wrestling that type of pace and that type of you know attitude on the mat goes a long way but you know can you do it in a match where you're wrestling against a team or a guy that is expected to beat you you know when you're out there and the guy's going to hang on longer for two minutes or three minutes or guys are going to wrestle the full seven minutes like that there's no reason that's your best opportunity to win and we talked a lot about that before the duels and then now after them we said you see good things happen and let's hopefully continue to to build on that momentum what did you tell them last night and what what were you really wanting to see today a big thing is uh seeing guys that weren't ready like in a you know a couple of the matches early um um, I talked about Mitchell McKee a little bit in his first match, you know, against uh, North Carolina. They had, you know, a good, a good opponent, but you could see he just kind of expected to win. And then against uh, Cornell, he wrestled to win, and that was just a mindset difference. You could see initially from the way he walked on the mat that that was going to be a different match and a, di a different competitor. Mitchell was a different guy. And, and so it's hard to do that um, in the middle of a match. It's almost impossible. And, um, you know, it's, it's something that as an athlete you should really be disappointed if you walk out in a match and you're not ready to go right from the start. And today you could see everybody was ready to go. But um, there's other times we talked about what if this was the other way around and it was the uh, things were in the favor of the other team. Are you a strong enough guy to let, let it know that just because maybe the results weren't the best for the guy in front of you that wrestled ahead of you, you got to be the guy that now is able to, you know, step on the mat and, and change momentum for our, for our team. And, and so, you know, that was kind of the things we talked about yesterday. The other thing is just not hustling um, positions um, as much as we should be because that wins a lot of matches and kind of all, I guess, it's all kind of uh, tailed in together. How do you carry this forward when you get into the thick of the Big Ten season? Uh, you know, it's one day at a time. we got Michigan State next at home, so we're excited um, to have, a, you know, the Big Ten season upon us. But it's going to be tough. Um, just try to focus on the team at hand, and, and each guy is going to have different. Regardless of who you're wrestling, there's going to be great, great matches uh, against any Big Ten team. But you got to wrestle solid and go out and, and just wrestle intense and try not to focus just on winning, but being the best competitor that you can possibly be. And if you do that, good things will happen. And, you know, that's, that's what we're going to focus on really is, is one day at a time. I know we're going to have some ups and downs. We talked to our guys about not yo-yoing their, with their weight and making sure they keep that under control. And, and uh, so we got a couple days here. We'll spend tomorrow <clears throat> with a day off. Um, get to hopefully enjoy some good weather down here and, and uh, soak that in. But we want to make sure that we get a little recovery time for the guys, but also manage our weight and do things right. So when we get back home, we get good training. Now that you've been through it once, what are your thoughts on this event? Um, I, I like it. I mean, I think it's great. Um, the nice thing is, um, you know, you from a training aspect, the thing that I really like is that that's different than a tournament sometimes is that all of our guys are going to get four matches. Like your guys that you go out and compete, you got four duos, guaranteed four matches. That's really nice. Sometimes in tournaments you may have um, a guy that's not wrestling the second day at some of those tougher tournaments potentially. And if that happens, some guys will have maybe five, six matches in that last day. And it's hard to manage training and keep your team together from a recovery phase and then a training standpoint when some guys are maybe not having the same requirements put on them. So. I think this helps the balance um, part of it. I also like the opportunity for uh, the five extra guys that we brought down to get some extra matches that didn't get in the, the lineup for us. You plan to come back next year? Yeah, right now uh, we talked about it a little bit. Our, our thoughts are that we'd love to come back. And, and I mean, we got to look at that at our schedule and where we're at. But um, we definitely would be up for, um, for coming back. We like it.